Hey guys, what's up? So I thought today would be a great day to have a coffee and watch and react to pitch meetings, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I was a person when I was younger that loved the original one with Gene Wilder. I wasn't 100% a fan of the one with Johnny Depp because he just looked creepy. I thought this came out around the time that I'm watching it. It came out like 20 hours ago, but when you guys see it, it will probably be a couple of weeks. I loved the film. In some like some moments, creeped me out, but I really want to see what Ryan George brings to the surface that I might not have noticed when I was watching the film. For all those who do not know who I am though, hi, hello. My name is Allie Robbins. I am a freelance photographer and independent filmmaker based out of Connecticut who also braids hair. When it comes to this uh, channel, I love watching films, reacting, doing some commentary, some reviews. And then every now and then I like to travel and check out food and drinks all around Connecticut, but I've been saving money because I've been spending like a crazy person. So I am doing a lot more film content on this channel. And if you like that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're always notified about the new videos that I have coming out. All right, guys, let's watch this and see what he has to say. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, it looks like he dyed his hair. All right, Ryan. You know, his hair is normally brown. It's more like a brown black. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Uh, so we're doing like a spin on it, making Willy Wonka the main character. No, the main character is this kid called Charlie. So why are we, I don't know. Well, okay then. So anyway, we meet Charlie and he's working a job while all these other kids are having a great time in a candy store with the candy man. Oh, they're buying candy from him? No, he's just kind of throwing it at them, just kind of giving it out. Yeah, a pretty weird business model. Yeah, so right? anyway, Charlie goes home and that sees- That is true. I never understood that part of the film where he was just giving kids like random candy, shakes, for free, but then Charlie would walk by and I guess it could have just been easier for him to just blend in with the crowd so he can get free candy as well. But instead he's watching on as if he can't afford free candy. <laughs> I don't know, that always, always weirded me out. I never understood that. Who's taking care of his four grandparents that have been stuck in their communal bed for like 20 years. What, what are you talking about? You know how when you're a kid, your four grandparents. Also that's gross as hell. When I was younger, that, that disgusted me, but it didn't disgust me more than, than it does now. It just weirded me out. So I'm like, why are four grown adults in one bed? I understand you guys are poor, but there's there's a thing called hygiene. I don't know. That just didn't make sense. And how is everybody sleeping comfortably? The same bed and never get out because they're too old. Oh, I don't think that's a thing. That sounds super unsanitary. Yeah, all they do is complain and eat cabbage soup all day. Oh God, I can't imagine what those sheets must smell like. Not great, I imagine. So anyway, then we're gonna- Oh, I forgot they were drinking Cabbage soup, that's gross. You know that house was funky. If you're just sitting around laying in bed eating cabbage soup, you are farting like it's nobody's business. That's worse than what I was thinking in my head. I totally forgot that they had the cabbage soup. Out that this guy Willy Wonka who owns a candy factory is having this big contest. Oh, what's the contest? Well, he's hitting some golden tickets and some candy bars and whoever finds them gets a tour of the factory. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so everybody <laughs> in the world just starts going crazy. Like everybody's looking for these things. And who ends up finding them? Well, there's this girl, Violet, who loves chewing gum. There's a boy named Mike TV who loves TV. There's a boy named Augustus is Gloop who likes to eat and there's a girl named Veruca Salt who's, you know, Satan. Oh, she is. <laughs> She's a spoiled little demon child for sure. Satan slid it in like Ryan just he be sliding stuff in if you don't catch it. And then Faruka, who is Satan. Family doesn't have money, so they can't really buy chocolate. Bummer. And then his mom is gonna sing a song called Cheer Up Charlie. Oh, we have musical numbers. Sometimes. Well, okay then. People do enjoy the occasional song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this one though. Oh, yeah, pretty much everybody's gonna hate this one forever. Okay. Anyway, eventually Charlie ends up finding the ticket and he gets to bring somebody with him. How's it? Who does he bring with him? His hardworking mom? Nope. He's gonna bring his grandpa Joe. Haven't all his grandparents been bedridden for two decades? They sure have, but grandpa Joe's gonna be so excited he's gonna get out of bed and start dancing around. What? Yeah, he's so excited he can't wait to go. You're saying all it took for him to get out of bed was the opportunity to go eat some free candy? That's right. What about when Charlie was born and the mom had to raise a child by herself? Nope, he didn't. That wasn't enough for him to get out of bed. What about trying to get a job so they don't have to eat cabbage soup all the time? So he's gonna dance around, he's gonna sing a song about... 
you know when you're a child and you're watching films and you're like, okay, this is really cute. Ooh, da, da, da. And I'm not gonna lie, I like the songs in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I threw reality out the window and I just watched what I saw on the screen, not thinking at all about what is actually happening. The idea that he brought that up, grandfather who was laying in bed for 20 years, all of a sudden he can walk, he can dance, he can sing, and that mom was working her ass off. <laughs> You kind of look at the film a little differently now because actually when I was watching the film the grandfather wasn't really the best of per like he wasn't actually a good guy and it's kind of weird because I, I knew that but I never connected this part to be the beginning of the downward spiral of the grandfather. Jeez, it's so funny because I did not connect the dots on that. That is crazy. He has a golden ticket. He doesn't, Charlie has the golden ticket. Well, that's Grandpa Joe for you. Oh, Grandpa Joe's a monster. Is he the bad guy or something? No, he's one of the good guys. Ugh, if you say so. No, anyway, so then they head to the Wonka guy. factory. And how does that go? Well, they see Willy Wonka and he pretends to need a cane, but then he does a little roll, so it's very fun. Oh, because people think he can't walk well, but then he can. Exactly. And so this way, the audience never knows if he could be trusted. Oh, so this guy is a little sketchy. Oh, definitely. Not as sketchy as Grandpa Joe, though. So then they start the tour. <laughs> this massive chocolate river with a waterfall <gasps> sounds delicious yeah it looks like diarrhea though for sure oh no then that kid augustus the river and he's gonna fall right in uh oh so what does wonka do not much he just kind of stands there he says there's nothing to be done about it now oh, what does that mean well the kid gets sucked up into this tube and then the pressure shoots him out into a different room oh, my god is he okay unclear but then these little creatures i'm not gonna lie i didn't give a shit about that kid they're telling him to not and you know he's a glutton is basically he's playing out one of the said seven deadly sins. He's drinking the thing. Willy Wonka's telling him not to drink it, and he continues drinking it. Hard-headed fucking kid. And then he falls in. Personally, for me, I wouldn't give a shit. But everybody else, like, you know, his mom was caring. But, like, as a matter of fact, I really didn't care for any of these kids when things started happening to him. And I kind of didn't really care about Charlie, but... You know, he's the main character and he's supposed to be the angel of the story, so... Oompa Loompas start dancing and singing about how this kid had it coming. What? Yeah, they got a whole song and dance ready for this exact situation. Very strange. So then everybody gets on this little boat and it's super cute and it has... Nah, the right this is the scene that creeped me out when I was younger. Because, I, you know, it starts off really nice and cute. All of a sudden when it... I think even now if I watch this, the tunnel scene would creep me out because it just traumatized me when I was younger because everything's happy, go lucky, candy, chocolate, ooh. And then all of a sudden, imagery on the walls. Like, it's insane. It's for that. Does that mean that Wonka knew that one of the kids wasn't going to make it out of that room? That's certainly one way to interpret it, sir. Ew, very dark. Yeah, and then they go through this tunnel on a little boat ride. Oh, well, that's fun. That'll kind of counterbalance the extremely dark thing you just alluded to. And the tunnel is dark, and images start getting projected on the walls. Millipedes <laughs> crawling on people's faces. Chickens being beheaded. What? And Wonka just stares at everybody, and he's speaking in an increasingly loud voice. What is going on? He's singing about how not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing or the f oh my god so anyway then they head into the next room <laughs> wait what the hell was that about i don't know so then in the next room they get these everlast <laughs> i gotta check to make sure i'm in frame if I frame, because it creeped me out too when I was younger and it was never explained. And Violet eats some gum that she's not supposed to and it makes her turn into a massive blueberry. I mean, she just fills up with juice. She fills up with juice? And so the Oompa Loompas have to roll her into another room and juice her or she's going to explode. She might explode? <laughs> Only if the Oompa Loompas don't juice her and then they do another song and dance specific to this very situation. When did they write and rehearse these things and how did they know they were going to play out like this? Unclear. So then they I'll get to try out some lickable <laughs> wallpaper and let me tell you grandpa joe gets pretty nasty with his tongue on that thing oh and then they go into another <laughs> i'm sorry i gotta watch that again that thing oh and then they go into another room wonka tells them they can't have any because it's not ready okay but then when everybody leaves the room grandpa joe is like hey charlie everybody's gone no one's watching let's that's exactly why i always thought that the grandfather was like the worst person it is kind of funny that ryan george is pointing out the darkness and the sketchiness of willy wonka which takes this film and makes it way more dark than it already is i always thought that the grandfather was the worst person when it came to the character of charlie like if charlie's the protagonist his grandfather was totally the antagonist because he was encouraging charlie to just do 
the worst things. Honestly, was not a fan of the grandfather when I was younger and now watching it now and I'm realizing, oh, the grandfather was actually a jerk. So, oh, this freaking guy, are you sure he's not the bad guy in this thing? <laughs> he might be. So then they start floating up towards this big ceiling fan and it seems like they're gonna get chopped up by it. Oh, yeah, gonna be tough to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super, super easy. easy. Barely, Barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they just start burping a whole lot and that makes them float back down to the ground. Oh, solving problems by burping is tight. <laughs> yeah, it is. So then what happens? Well, Mike TV gets turned all miniature and Veruca falls down a garbage chute that leads to a furnace. Oh, this place is a death trap. <laughs> well, we're gonna imply that maybe the kids didn't die, so. Oh, okay. You know, they're all definitely on a- oh, That's true. They do imply that, but he never is, he never is concrete on that answer. Furnace. So I remember that scene because like when you, when you think of furnace, you think of a, a place of fire. I love and hate people that discuss films that I used to watch when I was a child. It just takes it to a totally different dimension. It makes me look at the film differently. This is insanity. Path to excruciating death, but maybe they're not gonna get there. I guess that's reassuring. Anyway, so eventually Wonka's gonna be super mad at them about the fizzy lifting drink situation, and he tells them to go home. Oh, well, that's probably the safest thing for them anyway. <laughs> but then Charlie's gonna give back the everlasting gobstopper, so Wonka's gonna be super happy. Oh, why is that? Well, he had set up this whole thing where his employee posed as a competitor and promised all the kids money if they gathered information on that candy as a test. Oh, so Charlie's being honest. Okay, that's nice. It is nice. So then Wonka takes Charlie and Grandpa Joe into a magical elevator that shoots up all the way into the sky. <laughs> like the Angelo cats. <laughs> Damn, that's dark as fuck. Sounds extremely unsafe. Definitely, and so Wonka's gonna be like, good news, Charlie, I'm giving you the factory, it's yours. What? Yeah, Charlie's in charge of a factory now, and Grandpa Joe's gonna be like, what about me? Can I live there too? Oh, of course he says that. Yeah, okay, he is the worst. So, 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 so Charlie's like the CEO of a major corporation now? I guess so, because Wonka said he didn't want to leave the factory to a grown-up, so he had to give it to a child. What happens when Charlie's no longer a child in just a couple years? Unclear, so what do you think? Well, you know, I think it sounds like a pretty good horror movie. Oh no, this is a kid's movie. Oh, it is. Yeah, this is for kids. This is for the little humans. But what about all the horrifying stuff all throughout the movie? I don't know. What about that tunnel scene where he's yelling about hellfire and flashing disturbing images? Oh, well, those images are gonna fly by so fast. I don't think anyone's gonna know what's actually happening. Okay, well, I guess it's good that there's not really any technology for people to watch these movies at home and slow them down and rewatch that scene. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully that never exists, or I imagine somebody would make a list of all the disturbing stuff we're gonna shove in there. <laughs> oh, that was funny as hell and yes the grandfather was the antagonist he was the villain in the story all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely give it a thumbs up if you really like it definitely subscribe uh check out my website guys um it's new and improved and it's doing its thing it looks really good honestly you get to know everything that there is to know about me when it comes to the arts as well as if you guys do not know i braid hair as well so i do photography i make films and i braid hair if you guys want to get your hair braided by me and you live in the connecticut area you can email me if i'm going to my website you can dm me if you check me out on instagram i'm available and I'm here. Also, leave me a comment below. Were you guys a fan of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the one that came out with Gene Wilder? Did you think it was as dark as it actually is? <laughs> and do you think that the, that the grandfather was kind of like not a good guy in the film? I always knew that, but I didn't know to the extent of his villainous ways until watching this reaction and I just think it's hilarious. Also, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is a very disturbing film. <laughs> That's something that I realize now. But let me know in the comments below if you think that it actually is or not. Also, if you guys like what you see, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're always notified about the new videos that I have coming out. And you'll love my face and enjoy my content. You know what to do and I'll see you all in the next video.